Hi, my name is Pam Sherratt and I'm going to be giving an overview of the turf grasses. Turf refers to the covering of vegetation and the matted upper stratum of earth filled with roots and or rhizomes. Turf is a contiguous surface that is clipped or mowed on a regular basis. We use turf in places like soccer stadiums, football, baseball, softball, cricket, lawn bowling, golf courses, lawn tennis, lawns, highways, roadsides, cemeteries and airports. The word turf is also sometimes used in context of a synthetic or artificial turf surface. This is the baseball stadium at Ohio State which has artificial turf. The word turf is also synonymous with horse racing. For the sake of this module, when we use the word turf, we mean turf grasses. Turf grasses belong in the family Graminae, or Poaceae. Poaceae evolved around 70 million years ago, and there are 10,000 domesticated and wild species. 20% of the vegetative cover across the earth is in the Poaceae family. Over 40 million years, the selection pressure from grazing animals has resulted in plants with short internodes and a creeping growth habit. We now use these plants and have adapted them for turf use. The main benefit of turf as a ground cover is to prevent soil erosion, but there are other benefits such as aesthetic benefits, recreational and environmental benefits. More information can be found on the YouTube video, The Benefits of Turf, developed by myself at Ohio State. There are two types of turf grasses, cool season turf grasses, or called C3 grasses, and warm season turf grasses, which are referred to as C4 grasses. All grasses then are in the Poaceae family. The cool season grasses are in the Festicoidae subfamily, and these include fescues, blue grasses, bent grasses, and rye grasses. They are adapted to the temperate regions of the world, and we refer to them as C3 grasses. As you can see from this world map, the regions that are green are the temperate zones and the majority of the grasses are grown in these areas which would include North America and Europe. Warm season grasses are in the Aragrostoidae subfamily and the Panacoidae subfamily and these include Bermuda grass, Buffalo grass, Zoysia grass, Carpet grass, Kikuyu grass, seashore paspalum and St. Augustine grass. These grasses are adapted to warm, temperate, tropical and subtropical regions and we refer to them as C4 grasses. As you can see from this map, the states in the southern part of the United States and all the other countries in yellow, depicted in yellow, orange and red and purple would be tropical, subtropical zones and the C4 grasses are adapted to grow in these regions. In summary then, the warm season of C4 grasses can grow in much warmer temperatures. The cool season grasses, by comparison, can grow in temperate regions and do not do very well in very hot summer months. In addition to a turf grass's adaptability to, an, to a region, when we are selecting turf grasses for use on sports fields, there are very specific criteria that we need those turf grasses to meet. First of all, turf grasses that we use for sports must be hard wearing. They must be able to grow quickly from seed and grow quickly once they have been damaged. The turf grasses for sports must provide a smooth surface for ball roll and for ball bounce. This is important for sports like field hockey, soccer, baseball and cricket and tennis. The surface must be firm but also be soft enough that it is safe for the athlete to fall on. Turf grasses must be able to compete with weeds and be tolerant of drought, disease and insect problems. They must also be aesthetically pleasing. This concludes the slideshow, Turf Grasses.